we are pleased to announce the release of Fitfoot 360 version 3.5. The main focus of this release is to add soft material workflows into our software. The first one I'm going to show you is adding variable density zones for FDM. And we've done this by simply adding a new feature into our surface modifications to allow you to define zones that then a 3D print system, an FDM 3D print system, can pick up as a modifier and apply variable infill to allow you to have different flexibility in different areas of the insole. And you can use any slicing software that supports modifiers for variable infill. But what about powder printing? For that, we've gone a step further and we build the geometry inside Fitfoot 360. But that's going to be difficult because you need to know how to develop different springs for your insole. So rather than create lots of insoles to do this, we allow you to make samples. And then when you're happy, you can apply those samples to the insole and make the print that you would need that would create that variable density that you need. And as you can see, the result is amazing. But what about using the same tools for rigid shells? Our focus is always on clinical outcomes. So as before, you will do the clinical work, maybe to make corrections or to make a full contact fit. But afterwards, we can apply the same types of zone to a three quarter or full length shell that will allow us not to create spring, but possibly to create stiffness, varying stiffness. And also, you can use it to remove huge amounts of material from features like extrinsic posts. And as you will see, the results are quite impressive. Not only are they functional, but they are also quite attractive as well. So that's what's new in Fitfoot 360 version 3.5.